Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. I know I am two days late with the news. However, there are some things in here that have me excited and so I still wanted to cover it. Normally with news, I'm like, fuck it, I really don't care. Uh, but finally, 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 I care. There are certain units in here that I really, really care about. As always, if you need any Vanguard cards, go to 50cards.shop, link in the description and use the code SOLEMN for a discount. And, and, and... Zero Damage Gaming is back. The Legacy Collection playmats are back. There used to always be these beautiful, beautiful playmats that were time-limited. They would be there, boom, they would be gone. And then you basically missed out. Now all of those are back again for this December specifically. So if you want any playmats, you missed your chance, this is your chance again. Use the code SOLEMN for a discount and you can just pick them up. Now, for the news. As you can see, this is the new set. This is booster pack 9 and boy oh boy we have pretty units so first of all the left one we have like this gothic chick which we know is just my style uh, then in the middle we had a lot of people very excited because that it looks like a robot so finally overdress is getting its robot thing but then on the right on the right we have a furry we have more great nature ish goodness so i'm hopeful for that it looks pretty cool some people will go oh it's a furry this and that whatever card looks cool booster pack 9 is looking pretty cool what's also pretty cool is how dark it looks you know like we've had this sunshine and prettiness a little bit for a while now with the nirvanas on the boxes and so forth I mean, youthberg okay was a little bit more edgy but this is looking real dark i'm digging it this kind of reminds me of a divine dragon apocrypha gbt 14 style then we also have booster pack 10 right here i'm not really sure what to think here it looks like obviously like a nirvana virena type of card because we of course have our protagonist on here but it also has some chrono jet vibe so i don't know what to think of that we got like the new messiah thingy the stride deck set some more information it's getting that 5k buff to the front row and of course it's striding once again we also got the snr thing so as you know minerva is being rebooted into the game and so there's going to be like this numbered thing if you remember or don't remember we had the same thing for phantom blaster dragon a few years ago where you could have like number one until you know, some high number. And those were the extra rare. So this time we have the same thing for Minerva right here. More interesting for me, however, we also saw these beautiful versions of Lukie and Maelstrom right here. So secret version or, or whatever the name is going to be. If you're interested in playmats of, of these beautiful cards, by the way, we have a Lukie on zero damage and a Maelstrom. So if that's something you're interested in, link in the description. Use the code SOLEMN. Overall, very excited for these. For me personally, the Lukie in particular. Most people don't know I'm, I like people. Pale Moon. Pale Moon is basically Circus Grand Blue. Next, we have the ban list. So for Chrono Jet stuff, from now on, you can only stride if you're actually, you know, using a Chrono Jet deck. I'm assuming this is because people were trying to use it in like different ride lines to, to break the, the ride line ruling. I, I don't know what, what's up with that, but okay. This part is not quite as important. However, in Japan, we have no premium hits and no V hits. No V hits. <laughs> who, who needs V hits, right? Like we can all argue, oh, premium, uh, you would want to hit this and would want to hit this but overall premium is quite fine you know okay ban over triggers yeah okay but like in terms of actual card specific cards premium is pretty okay v however v bruh like are people in japan still playing v i don't actually know i'm hearing whispers that it's like the least played format almost and and maybe that's why they don't have sea maiden hits but like i'm hoping english gets sea maiden hits otherwise worlds is gonna suck for people who qualified for v however then standard they uh hit ebisu which apparently was required again i haven't played jp format but from what i've been hearing monster strike is insane then they brought back dark strain pretty quickly and they brought back inlet into magnolia also pretty quickly so it's pretty interesting how Vanguard back in the day when they had a ban list, they would ban something and then they would only bring it back when they were absolutely certain that that deck would now be tier 80. Like it would have to be unplayable garbage and then they would maybe bring it back, you know, five years later. Now they ban something and then after it got slightly crept out, they're like, you can have it back. That's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of that. You know, if you were a Magnolia player in set four, you lost your inlet. You were kind of sad. And now after Youthburg came out and, you know, Monster Strike came out, Chrono Jet, they're like, okay, Magnolia, now that you are no longer a problem, have it back. So I like that. That's really quick. Will they sometimes maybe go too quick? That's possible. But so far, I don't feel this is too quick. I don't feel like this is unfair or wrong. So good on them. You know, it's, it's a more proactive ban list. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. Now, finally, we have the reason I wanted to make this video in the first place. And I know it's very petty. And I know it's kind of cringe, you know. I should just be doing the news regardless. I should be go over, going over my Tuesday stream. But I was like, oh, I'm not feeling it. But then they dropped 
this photo. So Dragon Tree Invasion Booster Pack 9. We already had that one thing and I was like, oh, it look, it's looking a little bit darker. But look at this art. This is the most edgy Vanguard art I have seen in so damn long. Think about this for a second. Back in G, we had some really cool edge. I was a big fan of that. Loads of detail, loads of little over the top, just, just, whoa edge. Then we got V. And honestly, I, I couldn't stand a lot of the art. A lot of the V art just felt like it was SpongeBob SquarePants cartoons. I, I hated it. There was just so little detail in most of the cards and I was pretty vocal about that. Then we got Overdress and they kind of fixed that, you know. Some cards started having that, that really nice edge again, like Zorga. Like the Zorga ride line and the cards in the Zorga deck, it was like, yeah, finally some nice edge. And then they kind of went away from it, you know, not everywhere, but it wasn't as all-encompassing and I didn't see as many cards that really had, you know, 15-year-old emo solemn, his heart, you know, exploding. But then I just saw this. Do you see this art? Do you see what the fuck this is? This is a beautiful, disgusting monstrosity. I love this card. I am so hopeful that this deck is tier zero so I can play it competitively because I will max that shit out. This deck, I don't I don't even care what nation it is. I don't care what its name is. I don't care what this 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 anime person is i'm hoping they're really cool but this card fuck <laughs> i know again it's stupid like this is just art this is just a sneak preview piece of art but this this is the kind of vanguard that made me fall in love with the cards in the first place this kind of art i couldn't find anywhere else and i'm just so happy to see it back so yeah that is all that's the ramble i have no further insight or competitive take or anything like that i hope this deck is busted and i want to play it that was all for today i hope you found this interesting be sure to like comment subscribe again you need any cards go to 50 cards.shop you need a beautiful play mat go to zero damage gaming.com link in the description use the code solomon either and i will see you soon ciao